So listen, we have a lot to talk about today, so we're just gonna get started because otherwise I won't film this video. I'm stressed thinking about it. I've, th I've been looking at this mess for days, debating on whether I should actually film this, but we're doing it, so you're welcome. <laughs> Basically, you already saw it, but we're doing the, I mean, every single book that I got slash hauled in 2022. I didn't think there would be that many. I really didn't. And then I started going through them and started uh, trying to track it all. And I, I don't know. I have no idea. I'll say how many there were in the end, I guess, maybe. I had to take them all out of my shelves and I had to leave them in piles in front of the shelves because I was scared that if I didn't, I wouldn't remember how to organize my shelves back again after this was done. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at. So this is gonna kind of be like a walking around video because I wanna be putting away my books as I tell you which ones I hauled. I will not, unfortunately, be giving any details really about them. Like I'll give some, but this is more of just like, like a video to go to to find out the books that I did get this year, but like maybe not necessarily find out anything about them. I'll try to link everything down below. I don't know if I'll be able to link every single book. I might have to make like a separate group link, like a like an Amazon shop type of thing. So check that out if you would like to, if you wanna find out more about the books. Some of these are special editions. I'll tell you when those are coming by. Let's just get into this because otherwise this is gonna be long. Oh, also this is not gonna go in order for like when I got them or anything because I don't know. It's just gonna go in the order of me putting them back in my shelves. I guess we can start off strong because I'm not gonna be showing my other shelves, the dark ones. They're too hard to film in front of. So we'll start with these four bad boys, which I've gotten quite a few questions about actually. And that's, am I in focus? I can't tell. I can't tell if I can't see or if my camera can't see, you know? Anyways, these four bad boys, which I have gotten quite a few questions about because like, I mean, the eye is just staring at you whenever you see it. This is actually The Diviners by Libba Bray, the series. This is the Bookish Box special editions. I don't believe that they're sold anymore. They're really quite pretty. They have like cool sprayed edges. I'm a fan. I'm glad I did this because honestly, the Diviners, it always kind of bugged me that they don't match each other. And so I got one set of them that completely does match each other. Ow, I hurt my collarbone. I'm gonna put these away. I feel like if I wanna have a tally, I should have a tally. So, okay, the next book that we'll talk about is this one, which I actually hauled recently. This is the Owl Crate edition of The Luminaries by Susan Dennard, the author of the Truth Witch series. So it's very pretty. I think it's, it's fancy. I like it a lot. It goes on my pretty shelves for that reason. I'm already not liking getting up and down. This one, I believe, is the Fairy Loot edition of Year of the Reaper by Machia Lucier. Also a very stunning book. Also on my pretty shelf. I'm kind of tired of getting up and down in a book shopping vlog, I hauled Fangs by Sarah Anderson, a really cute graphic novel with a little short story about a wolf and a vampire. Falling in love. Werewolf and a vampire, I should say. We are now up high. Ignore those for right now. Those go, those go even higher up. Next that I got, An Arrow to the Moon by Emily XR Pan. This is the one that came in the fairy loot box, so special edition, I suppose. I already don't know where this goes. I'm not gonna lie. I think that doesn't feel right. No, 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 it does. It does. Yeah, okay. And then we have <laughs> Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross. This is a, I think Owl Crate edition. Yes, right here. Then we have the Fairy Loot edition for Twin Crowns by Catherine Doyle and Catherine Weber. Also pretty, also special. Actually, I think this one, you know what? I'm gonna put it here. Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. Owl Crate edition. So like we have one, I'm gonna say this one actually. No, that doesn't feel right either. Then we have the Fairy Loot edition of Ballad and Dagger by Danielle Jose Older. And I think she goes, you know, that feels so wrong, but we're gonna keep it there. Um, so we have three. These are the Owl Crate classics editions for, I wanna say it went Pride and Prejudice. Frankenstein, and The Secret Garden. Then we also have on the shelf, The Push by Ashley Audrain. This is Book of the Month's edition. Let's put in the ones that go right here. Um, let me just like scoot you in a little bit. Not sure which ones go there actually, now that I'm looking at it, but let's give it our best college try, you know? We have Blood Scion by Deborah Filet. This is a special edition. I believe it's the fairy loot one. That one will go there. 
A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. This is the re the hardback reissue edition. These are not made anymore. I found it on Abe Abe's books, but it matches my other ones. See? Ooh. And then we have my two editions of Only a Monster by Vanessa Len. This one is the fairy loot one, you can tell because it has the pretty, pretty sprayed edges. And this one is the Owlcrate one. We're gonna put that in backwards. I don't think I did that actually the first time. Cool. Just to move these out of the way. <laughs> Sorry. Because they go up. I don't know where they go up there, in all honesty. I just know they go somewhere. Oh, I, I hope you can hear me well. I just realized my mic's way down there. You can't even see me. But basically, we have these four, which go up on top of my shelves. And that is Siren Queen by Nye Vo. The Drowned Woods by Emily Lloyd-Jones. The yeah, Alcrate Edition. Trash. Be chill. We got A Forgery of Roses by Jessica S. Olson. Oh, Alcrate. And... This one I do know is Fairy Loot, and it's This Vicious Grace by Emily Feed. Look how pretty. Now we can move, I guess, down? Back down? Sure. Or should I just keep you up high? I should probably keep you up high for a little. This is a great angle. We've scooted down. We're gonna do this shelf. This one that you can kind of not really see. There's only one book that goes on there anyways, and that's a very special book, which took me a while to find, but uh, it's fine. This is actually the fairy loot edition of Babel by R.F. Kong. I did not get this box. I spent a pretty penny on this book, but look, worth it. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. And there she goes. Ah, beautiful. We love it. Um, anyways, these four. For a lot of Book of the Month books, I took the dust jackets off, so that's why they look that way. We have The Poison Season by Mara Rutherford, the Owlcrate edition. Daughters of the Deep by Rick Riordan. Peach Blossom Spring by Melissa Fu, which actually has a really pretty cover, but the red was like clashing with everything. And then we have Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson. Sorry that the lighting's weird. This is like a, a kind of difficult video to film. The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. And this is the Fairy Loot Edition. You know what, I'm just gonna like face you and then we'll put it all away. Ooh, the Fairy Loot Edition of Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. Like, this is such a stunning book. I had so many issues trying to figure out which direction I wanted to point it in. You'll see what I mean when I put it away. Same with this next one, actually. The Darkening by Sunya Mora. And this is the Fairy Loot Edition as well. Like, look at that. Look at her. Two Lucy Foley books, The Paris Apartment, and The Guest List. So that, this goes like, like right there. Mm -hmm. You go. I think there, and you go pretty sure there. Could be flipped. Could be. Just because we're already on this level, you won't really be able to see me put it away though, which is the fairy loot edition of the one that I've already hauled, which is Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. Let's go to somewhere you can see me better. All right, let's do... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. But I'm pretty sure that's all of these. So let's do that. We have The Maid by... Need a Prose, Tell Me Everything by Erica Kraus, The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley, You're Invited by Amanda Jayatista, The Hacienda by Isabel Cañas, and The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. That seems right. Oh wait, no. That seems right-ish. Just one. It's a beautiful one too. This is the Fairy Loot Edition for Jade Fire Gold by June C.L. Tan. Like, look at her. I didn't even know. I, I, oh, so pretty. Erin. <laughs> yeah. This shelf first, I guess, because why not? We have The Depths by Nicole L'Esperance. Alcrate edition. I can tell by the end papers now. Hotel Magnifique by Emily J. Taylor. This is the Alcrate edition. And we have The Cartographers by Pang Shepard. Oh, and then this shelf, that one in that little cute corner. She has a few. Well, she has two. We've got Dating Dr. Dill, which is the Book of the Month edition. That's why it's hardcover. And it's by Nisha Sharma. And then we also have The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas, which I got in that book shopping vlog. And actually, we're gonna just do the ones that go right there too, because I'm choosing to. We have Light Lark by Alex Astor. And then we have 
The Time of Content, which is the second book in the Witcher series. This is the new editions. I'm so salty that not all of my editions are this edition, but luckily from the side, they still kind of go together. You know, I don't have to rebuy it. I can, I still might, but I don't have to. <sighs> I guess like while we're here, we should probably do that one too. At this shelf, we have a couple. We have I Am A Cat by Soseki Natsume. And we have The Golden Couple by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekanen. That's the two. I feel like maybe we should do the, oh, there's only a couple over here. So we'll just do them. Firstly, we have Inward by Young Pueblo. Nice. And then we have the Wolf Den by Elodie Harper, or Elodie Harper, A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. On this shelf, we have The Whispering Dark by Kelly Andrew, the Alcrit edition. And then we have these two babies, which if you follow my vlogs, you saw me haul. And that's gonna be these Hollow Vows and these Twisted Bonds, the Fairy Loot editions. That one goes there. There. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not even doing anything. Like I'm barely doing anything. This is like the least amount of effort I could possibly put in. Together We Burn by Isabel Ibanez. Which like, I feel like it should go here. Can't remember anymore, unfortunately. And then The Ivory Key by Akshaya Rahman. Does that look right? It's gonna have to. It's just gonna have to. <laughs> and then we have A Dowry of Blood, the Fairy Loot Edition by Saint, or sorry. Not St. Gibson, S.T. Gibson. Look how cool. I love this. I have it facing out. House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J. Mass. This is actually, I believe, the, the Waterstones edition, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, definitely the Waterstones edition. I thought it would have sprayed edges, like how House of Earth and Blood did, but it didn't. It's fine. And then let's just actually do these two because then I can put them back into that shelf. Both book of the month books, both ones I took the covers off of, but we have Fiona and Jane by Jean Chen Ho. And then we also have Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. Love it. Oh, and also one that goes over there, but is a special edition. The tour edition of House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J. Mass. She's, she's stunning. We, we love it. We love it. I'm like still stressed, but it's it's like getting better. Like this is getting better. I'm feeling less stressed, even though it feels more stressful. Um, I'm just gonna zoom in on my face for this part because these go in my, my pretty shelves. We'll start with the book of the month ones that I took the dust jackets off of, but oh my gosh, they have one. That could have helped, but <laughs> We have Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly. The Unsinkable Greta James by Jennifer E. Smith. The Magnolia Palace by Fiona Davis. Don't Cry For Me by Daniel Black. And The Verifiers by Jane Peck. Look at that. See, they just look so good without their dust jackets on. And Book of Night by Holly Black. This is the Owl Crate edition. She's beautiful. She knows she's beautiful. We stand. She slays. We're doing this shelf down here. There's romance books. So these, these are the juicy ones. These are the ones you've been waiting for. Potentially. Also potentially not, you know, I don't know. But we have Vladimir by Julia May Jonas. It goes in there somewhere, not sure where. From Lukov with Love by Mariana Zapata. The Book of Azrael by Amber Nicole. Priest by Sierra Simone. A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett St. Clair. Zodiac Academy 1, 2, and 3 by Caroline Peckham and Susan Valenti. Let's figure out where these go, right? I think, I don't know. Um, I think that this one should go here. Ooh, I like that. Okay. And then you three, I think, go here. Oh, for sure. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then from Luke of, or sorry, Book of Azrael, you can go there. Touch of Darkness, sure. Oh, wait, Vladimir. Yeah. That feels right. It feels emotionally correct. Uh, also, okay, so now we have all the books that I don't have a place for on my shelf yet because they're too new, which is a great thing. Let me fix my lighting for those. I had a book fall on my toe. <laughs> uh, I'm almost there, you know, like we're so close to the end. I just need maybe like a little drink of my energy drink. Mm. My toe still hurts. You don't care. It's fine. I actually did forget about this one in general. I saw it in my shelf just now, but it's The Honeys by Ryan LaSala. This one does have a spot, so we'll just like scooch it. So we'll start with this one, which was actually a Christmas gift. 
I'm very excited. My friend got it for me. He says he loved it. So I'm hyped. Uh, it's The Thousand Crimes of Ming Su by Tom Lin. How much to say about it? I don't know much about it yet. These actually do have spots, the next two, but they're downstairs. So there's that. And they're both books that I own in hardcover, but these have a story with them. We have Circe by Madeline Miller and Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. These were actually given to me by my cousin in Argentina when my mom went to visit earlier in the year and he found these books and he wanted to give them to me and I absolutely love it. And they're both such beautiful paperbacks that I am really excited to have two copies of them. So thank you, Joaquin, if you're watching by chance. Another Christmas gift, which I'm very, very excited about, <laughs> Cat Astrology by Stella Andromeda. <laughs> Decode your pet's personality with the power of the zodiac. Both my cats are Pisces. I think we should start by saying that. Uh, both my cats are Pisces, but Luna, my perfect sweet angel baby, which actually has the exact same birthday as my best friend here on YouTube, Mika August. I found that out recently, but she's a March Pisces. She's pure, loving, sweet girl. Now, Apollo, he's a February Pisces. It's not his fault. I think he was born February like 27th or 28th. So he's, he's, he's chaos, but I'm really excited about this. I've wanted this for so long. So thank you to my friend that got it for me. And then we have the ones that I hauled for myself. Oh wait, there's two books that won't be in this haul, which I guess I'll just put it in my next haul. But even though I bought them last year, these are the books that I bought on the 50% off hardcover sale that Barnes and Noble had right after Christmas. So let's talk about them real quick. We have Demon in the Wood by Lee Bardugo. This, oh, the art style on this was incredible, by the way. I have two Penguin Clothbound classics. I was hoping to get more, but they didn't really have many left when I went to go. I got Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, mostly because I've actually already read this book. Whether I liked it or not is, it doesn't matter because I just wanted it because I've read it and I deserve it. That was a terrible, I mean, it wasn't terrible. It was just a dull story. But then we also have The Sonnets and a Lover's Complaint by William Shakespeare. I think this is actually really cool. And we have Along the Saltwise Sea by A. Deborah Barker, which if you didn't know is a pen name for Shauna McGuire. She's writing these. They are the books that appear in Middle Game, if you've read Middle Game. I also got myself... The Lives of Saints by Lee Bardugo. This, I mean, let's like, look how beautiful. I'm so excited to have this on my shelves. This is pretty, this is pretty. And then I got Casadora by Romina Garber. This is the second book in the Lobisona series. I got Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong, the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition, which has the sprayed edges and it is signed. So exciting. And then I also found, so Mythos by Stephen Fry. This is the only one that I was missing of his collection of Greek stories and it has a little wrinkle in it but it just adds character. She has been through things and who hasn't? <laughs> Anyways. And last but not least, The Schwab Extraordinary. I mostly got this because I didn't know that it would be a hardcover and I just wanted to get to take advantage of the 50% off sale and I couldn't find most of the books that I did want to get so when I saw this I was like I'm still getting that. So I'm excited to read it though. It's not, I feel like that buildup means that I wasn't excited about it, but I mean, it's V.E. Schwab. I like everything V.E. Schwab has written. So I doubt that would be the breaking point for me. Oh my God, my nose, it's so itchy. Anyways, thanks for watching. This was chaotic. Let me, let me tally up everything that I hold. So basically I already made a list. So I just have to add these ones to the list, right? Mm -hmm. So we have, all right. Let's do this. Let's count. There might be a couple that are missing in this, by the way, in general. I didn't keep track of it as I got books this year. Like I said, I didn't think I'd gotten that many. But yeah, like I said, I didn't think I'd gotten that many this year. So there might be some missing. Hopefully not, though, you know? All right, one, two, three. Ninety-two! Ninety-two books! So like I said, everything will be linked down below in case you do want to actually know what these books are about versus just like if you wanted to keep tabs of the things that I've bought. Now that I say that out loud, that sounds pretty weird, but like that is literally what I was thinking when I made this video. I was like, oh, I'm not going to explain anything. That's not what this haul is for. This haul is just for the people to know what has been added to my library. Like the people care. I mean, maybe you do care. If you do care, um, leave, leave like a little black heart emoji down below. That would be nice, actually. Do that if you would like to.
Ooh, or a cat with a moon because cat astrology. I'm still really excited about that. But anyways, other than that, that is all the books that I have to show you today. I'm sorry that this was a little unorganized and uh, spur of the moment. This was the only way to convince myself to do this video. So here we are, we did it, I'm proud of us. And then now the only thing that I have to film is an, all the books that I have on my TBR video. Yeah, that's coming, that's coming. Not excited about it, I won't lie. But anyways, that's it for this video today, guys. I'm surprised by the amount of books that I got this year or this last year. We'll see if I manage to get more or less this coming year. Let me know what your goals are. Do you like to have a million books? Do you not like to have a million books? Obviously, I think I like it, but also it's kind of stressful. So <laughs> I'm gonna go. This, this video is unwinding as we watch, you know? So anyways, Illy, goodbye. <laughs> Ah, oh, the curls came out too tight again today. That's kind of how I feel after this video. So yeah, bye!